What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's PopyJ and welcome to Penthos. Uh, this is a game I saw on itch.com or itch.io and um, it just said it was a great narrative experience and I'm always up for narrative experiences. I love the art look of it. So I, I just kind of wanted to get in and try something different. So come with me on this. All right, chapter one, four days. Ah, oh, that classic mobile. <laughs> Didn't I call? No. I don't think so, darling. Fifteen stories to be found. Okay. Ooh, guitar. I had this thing for years. The wood is battered and it's covered in dust. Ellie likes to sit and watch me play, but lately I've been so busy I really get the time. I'll teach her when she gets a little older. Okay, so is Ellie a daughter? To-do list. Rewind the clock. No. Pens. Ellie used to love drawing on the walls, but thankfully she's slowly growing out of it. Still, I tried to keep the pens away from her. Okay. Are these all stories? Magazine. Hannah likes to browse through home improvement magazines and that kind of thing. She dog it about. Uh, she dog. She. Duh, she dog it a page in this one about taking care of roses. Photograph. I took this photo from the hotel where Hannah and I spent our anniversary last year. Neither of us grew up in the city. So the view of the skyline is still special to us. Oh wow. Photo. This is one of our engagement photos taken by my brother. We had to be up at 4am to drive out to the beach and catch the sunrise. Totally worth it. What a great shot. I agree with that. That is a fucking fantastic shot. Holy crap. Alright. Anything else? Be oh, wind back the clock. There we go. Okay, rewind Ellie's clock. Where's Ellie's clock? Ellie? Ellie's daughter? Aw. She's got a kangaroo. Are you guys Australian? Book. The Red Tree. This is Ellie's favorite book at the moment. Whenever she can't sleep, this is our go-to. That's nice. That's a fucking creepy bear. Holy shit. Blue. My brother gave this to Ellie when she was born. Even years later, it's still her favorite toy. So he gets sent a spot in the bed. Fair enough. Just don't start following me around the room. You don't follow me, we'll be good. We'll be hunky dory. All right, rewind the study clock. That's the bathroom, but fuck it, let's check it. We're at a wall roll. Toilet roll. Hannah takes care of us and makes sure that the house is always stocked with good stuff. Triple pie. Hell yeah. She knows where it's at. Oh my god. These photos are so cool. Oh, is that a photo of Ellie? Some of these were taken at my parents' old farm. I try to take Ellie there when we can. The air is better. Ah, She's adorable. Books. When we moved in together, we had to split the bookshelf in two halves. This is my half. It's partially fiction, but these days I mostly read non-fiction books. I've I read every sing I've read every single book on this shelf. Okay, this is Hannah's half. It's full of fiction and fantasy novels mostly. She's a big Tolkien fan. I don't know what that is. Why am I rewinding the clocks? Is it like daylight savings or something? I don't, like I don't know. I'm sure it will be explained in due time. Ooh, 
painting. This painting was a wedding gift from Hannah's parents. They bought it while away on holiday. I score big brownie points by putting it right in the foyer. Yeah, that will bring you some pretty good points, I'd imagine. Front door is locked. Ah, newspaper. The local paper. There's some story about a drunk driver T-boning a family car. I'll have to read it later. Okay. Kitchen. Fireplace. We've renovated significant portions of the house, but Hannah and I insisted that the fireplace stay. It's old, but it makes the house feel cozy. Yeah, I can see that. I used to have a, uh, a fireplace in one of the houses I was in when I was really little. And you did always kind of get that warm, cozy feeling, even just looking at it when it's not on. So I can complete... Well, now I'm just making a fucking mess. But I can completely relate to that feeling. Alright, back when I was dating Hannah and I used to... Sorry, back when we were dating, Hannah and I used to like going to night markets. Refusing to leave empty-handed, she snagged a set of these lotus paintings one night, and we kept them ever since. Nice. Get the phone. Oh, hi. Hey. Hello. Oh, this was chapter one. This uh, four chapters, right? One week. All right. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Not how I do my alarm, but whatever. Guitar. I feel like if I play this right now, I might break it. Jesus. It's just throw the pillows and shit everywhere. To-do list. Here we go. See what's on TV. Easy. God. Why is everything so... Everything's messed up. What happened? Right. Order roses online. Uh, study, study. Right? Computer. The study will have the computer. Let's order. No. Do dishes. Righto. I'm confused now. I'm really fucking confused. Shit. I just can't. I can't do it. How do I... How? Done the dishes. Dishes are done. Hunky dory. What, what else? I think I just broke everything. Oh no, there we go. Throw out Ali's toy. Why? What happened? I don't understand. Like, what the hell? Did I miss some context? I'm missing context. Oh, I actually would have wanted me to keep these. Sheep. This was given to Ali when she was born. She never gave it a name. Sir Piggy deserved better than to be left alone. Abu. Guess I'll hold on to them. And Baloo. These toys still remind me of Ellie. I can't throw them out. What ha- I need context. Like, I don't know what happened. Nothing bad, I hope. Two weeks. No alarm clock. Ali used to always ask me to teach her to play guitar, but I never had the time. If only I could go back, if, if I could get back the time I wasted pulling over time at work, when I could have spent time with her. Did she die? 
If so, what the fuck? Visit Ellie's room. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that terrified me. Jesus fucking Christ. You did this. No, I didn't, but you almost made me piss my pants. Mwah, smooches. Jesus Christ, that actually scared the shit out of me. Computer. What have you done? I don't... Oh, this is creepy. You should have done something. I don't know what... <laughs> There's so much I wish I could have done to... together. Things could have been so different. I... I could have done something. I should have done something. This is getting dark, man. Like... I don't like it. Hmm, hey, there you are. You could have saved them. Oh, the, God, they both died? They didn't both die, did they? Oh, my God. Car was hit and left. It was a total write-off. Jesus. He was a drunk driver. There's nothing you could have done. That newspaper. That newspaper, man. Oh, it's not your fault. This is fucking heartbreaking. Jesus Christ. I did not expect that going into this. Chapter four, one month. So it's one month after it happened. Only four stories. It's hard to find the energy to play the guitar these days. It's just been sitting in the corner gathering dust. Hannah took this photo not long after Ali was born. This is horrible. I feel so... I don't know how to feel. Eh. Knock, knock, knock. Start the washing machine, please. Oh, washing machine. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. There we go. Chapter 4, two months. Get something to eat. Did you not leave for like a month right there? Like, did you seriously not leave for a month? Oh, wow. I haven't been out to visit the parents' farm since the crash. I think I just need to be alone for a while. This is brutal. Oh, like, I know that that's what the game is meant to be conveying, like... There's nothing. Oh, wow. Three months. Watch TV. <sighs> this is heavy. Like, this is really heavy. I know I'm not saying a lot, but I don't, like, I, I, I don't know how to react. Like, I just don't. Six months. Please tell me you start in the field, you know, a little bit more back to normal. Yeah, go outside. Okay, at least he seems to be feeling a little bit back to routine, back to some normality. I don't know, but it looks like he's surrounded by the ocean. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Whoa. What 
the fuck? What's gonna be next? Or is that it? Chapter 5, two years. Okay, you gotta be feeling somewhat better. Oh, I don't think this is gonna handle well. Sorry if the frame rate crashes and this looks terrible for a bit. A story. The crash was so long ago now. I'd give anything to go back before and hold on to what I had. Jesus, this is heavy, man. But there comes a point where I have to learn to accept reality. I'm trying to recognize my wife and piece together the broken bits. That's really the healthiest way to go about it, is that even though the people are gone, you remember the fondness and the warmth that they brought to your wife and then you try to move past everything else and just move on with your wife, with them still in your mind and in your heart. There was one of Ellie's favorite book. This is one of Ellie's favorite books. It hurts to remember those stories. Strange to think that memories are all I have now. There's no going back. But as I said, as long as you keep the nice memories, the fun memories alive. Someday we'll see each other again, but until then, I'll keep going, just like you two would have done. Or would have wanted. I'm changing the wording a little bit, but... I'm still working out what acceptance means. Things have changed. Maybe I'll never be okay with that. Creepy fucking bear. Take care of your mother up there, Owie. I'll take care of Bully for you. This is so this is not what I expected when I signed up to play this, man. Start to play guitar again. I'll keep on playing for you two, and I promise. I'll never forget your songs. Oh, and he moved out. It's a, a lovely little place here. Oh no, is this the same? This is the same place. The border was like his clouded mind. Is what it seems to be representing for me. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that going into the game. Holy shit. Let me just, uh, let me get rid of that. Let's, let's real talk it for a sec. As I said when playing the game, it, it's a game about loss. But it's also a game about keeping a hold of the good memories that you have of someone. Someone that unfortunately isn't there anymore to be with you. You carry the fondness through with you for the rest of your life and choose to remember those fond memories but there will come a point where you do need to just hold on to those and try to push forward um this was a beautiful game beautiful game thank you so much to calvin gabriel jonathan and shanice i think i'm saying that right i'm sorry if i'm not if i butchered any of those Thank you. What a brilliant game. Man. Uh, the link to this game is actually going to be down in the description box. Uh, for you guys to go check out. Um, and if you can, please, just kick in a couple of bucks to help these developers out. To make more amazing games like these. That was, a, that was an experience. And I urge you all to, if you can't help and donate... Then just go and play it and give them ratings and comments and love and support on the project. Um, 
Because these stories and these games with these messages are the ones that I think should be played and should be heard. And if we can be, a, our community could be a tiny piece of people seeing it, then so be it. That's good enough to me. So please follow suit, play it for yourselves. It's more of an experience for yourself. I'm glad that you watched it, uh, watch me play along. But um, I would urge you to go and play it yourself because it really is an experience when you're the one playing it. So please go check it out. Link in the description. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Thank you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and until next time, I'm YouTube's PropyJN, peace out. You lost me.